Were you a registered Democrat prior? Uh, I was registered Democrat going up. Uh, my father was a big Democrat donor. We were we'd have in our house, whether it be you know Chuck Schumer, or Hillary Clinton. I think my father gave uh, Cory Booker his first campaign donation. So I know Cory since I'm 15 years old. Uh, so really grew up around Democrat politics uh, all of our life. But uh, over time, I, I think during the Obama years, I, I uh, changed my registration to an independent. I didn't feel uh, like the Democrat Party was fully representing my my viewpoints. So I felt more independent minded. And then um, during the time with uh, my father-in-law, when he was running uh, for office, uh, he invited me to go with him to a rally in Springfield, Illinois. We flew out there. I got off the plane, and um, you know, we we pull up to an arena, and the guy comes up to Trump and says, uh, "Congratulations, sir! You just broke the record for the arena for attendance." Uh, and he says, "Well, well, who had the who had the record before?" And he says, "Well, it was Elton John 36 years earlier." And he says, "Jared, look, I don't even have a guitar or a piano. This is impressive, you know." So. You know, he gets up on stage and and um, without really notes, you know, riffs for over an hour. And it was interesting for me because I was watching, you know, CNN and the New York Times and all my friends, the media basically were describing his rallies as almost like KKK conventions. But I walked around the crowd. Nobody knew who I was then. And what I saw was that these were just, you know, they were people were old, young, male, female, uh, white, minority. And um, and uh, and it was just people who were hardworking Americans who who. You know, really felt like Trump was giving them a voice. And what was interesting to me was a couple of weeks earlier, we'd been at uh, the Robin Hood Foundation, which is the big uh, philanthropy in New York, where a lot of the hedge fund managers uh, support. I remember the chairman of Robin Hood getting up and saying, you know, if we want to save, uh, you know, the next generation, we want to save uh, the kids in the inner cities, uh, we have to, uh, we have to support Common Core. That's the way that we can save people. And I remember Trump gets up there and he says, uh, you know, if we want to save education, we have to end Common Core and send it to the states. And I'm saying, wait, I thought I thought Common Core was this great thing, and but why are all these people against it? And so it, it really just kind of piqued my interest and made me realize that maybe my aperture was was way smaller, um, way more closed than than I thought it was. And it really led me to 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 seek out a lot of people who had differing points of view than the people I'd been around before. I really opened my aperture, explored a lot. 